Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to another Skate Hacks video. Ladies as well, if there's any ladies watching these videos, which would be kind of weird but cool at the same time, comment down below if you're a female skateboarder learning these tricks. We're going over backside big spins today. Take a look at that beautiful hill in the background. Nice scenery. I like the uh, the Windows screensaver vibe, if you know what I'm talking about. It's a pretty cool skate park. So we're going over backside big spins. I did a few on flat ground here. I just like doing them off gaps more, so... I got some gap footage on these back big spins, but the concept is the same whether you do them on flat ground or off a gap. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. Just um, obviously on a gap, you go a little bit faster. Uh, it might take a little bit more commitment. But um, backside big spins. So with a backside big spin, I set up kind of like a tray flip. There's a lot of tricks that you can set up kind of like a tray flip and do those tricks like for instance three shoves or backside 360s backside big spin is the same thing you can kind of have that tray flip set up and so what i'll do is i'll make sure that my back foot's in the scooping position like a tray flip and i don't like to have it too close to the back bolts because if you have it too close to the back bolts you're not going to get a good pop you're not you're not going to get as good of a pop the closer to the tip you have the back foot you can generally get a better pop off of that so I'll have it in the scoop position, uh, closer to the tip of the tail. Front foot, um, I mean you can put your front foot in different places, I just kind of have it a little bit like a kickflip I guess. Um, but obviously you're not really going to be using it for a flip or anything, so it just kind of stays there. So with a backside big spin, uh, you want to wind up a little bit, and I like to break this trick into two different parts, just to make it easier. I like to think of a backside big spin as just a pop shove it and then uh, completing the backside 180. So I like to catch it as a pop shove it and uh, of course my, my body and my shoulders are already turning in that direction so I just complete the backside 180. So I kind of scoop it, I scoop it a little bit like maybe not as hard as a, a three shove you know um, because I don't need the, the board to flip super fast. I just want it to do that pop shove it. It's not caught flat, it's caught kind of sideways, kind of tilted, as you can see here. So I'll wind up, like I said, I'll scoop it like a pop shove it, and I'll just make sure to catch it. So a big problem with big spins, uh, especially on gaps and stairs, is that you need to make sure it doesn't flip and do like a big flip or something. You don't want that to happen in land primo, so that's really bad. You don't want that to happen. So the best way you can assure this is just by getting that pop shove it catch going on. And I catch it with the front foot. You don't have to catch it with the back foot as well. But um, a lot of times you kind of end up catching it with both feet. Sometimes you just get it with the front foot. But mainly it's, it's caught with the front foot. It's not caught with the back foot. So you'll scoop it and get that catch going. And then you just complete the rest of the backside 180. So... Before you do big spins, you should know how to backside 180. You should know how to pop shove it, but the way that a pop shove it gets done during a big spin is going to be different than a, just a plain pop shove it. So I would suggest obviously trying this on the flat ground before you take it down a gap, but I, I enjoy them on gaps more because I can really feel that catch more um, on flat ground. It's, I don't know, I just, I enjoy doing tricks down gaps and stairs more. But um, on flat ground, obviously you want to learn this on flat ground first. Take it to gaps and stairs uh, later on. Maybe just try it off a curb and just work your way up. But basically with a backside big spin, you want to have that set up kind of like a tray flip. You want to get that scoop going and get that rotation going. And make sure you catch that pop shove it. That's really your insurance right there that you're going to carry the trick out well. That you're going to be able to land the trick and commit with the rest of the trick. Once you get that pop shove it catch going and you just complete the rotation. So it really helps to think of this trick in that two-step system. Just the pop shove it in the backside 180. Uh, instead of trying to do it all one motion, you know. Um... I think it really helps to break things down into systems. So wind up, get that scoop going, uh, keep your feet kind of tweaked. I like to have my feet tweaked out. It just helps with the catch. Um, 
and just complete the rest of the backside 180. So a problem with this trick is that sometimes you might over rotate because you realize you don't need to actually scoop super hard. Uh, especially if you're going to take it off stairs, you don't need to scoop too hard. Um, you just give it that light scoop and just make sure that you get that catch and complete the rotation. So it's actually a pretty basic trick. Uh, backside big spins are pretty, pretty basic. So it's all in the scoop pretty much. It's about catching that pop shove it. And I like to keep my feet tweaked out because it allows the big spin to be caught easier if that makes any sense um, that's just that's how I do it so the keys the overall keys for a backside big spin have that tray flip scoop setup going on make sure you uh, you wind up a little bit um, scoop that pop shove it and catch it and that's pretty much your insurance right there and complete the rotation complete the rotation like a backside 180 and just land like you would from a backside 180 so those are my tips for backside big spins hopefully this was helpful to you guys comment down below on tricks you want me to you want to see me do in the future any tricks grind slides flips whatever see you next time Junior. Yes!